we have loneliness okay so somebody's feeling lonely and they're craving you they're craving your attention and they're hoping dang somebody could be a capricorn or a Aqu aquarius here The person who's missing you and feeling lonely is confused right now, overwhelmed by not understanding what is really going on. Intensity scares them. Expect delays. So this person wants to talk to you. They're missing you. They're lonely without you. I just heard this person didn't think that you would just separate your energy. You wouldn't separate yourself. You wouldn't leave them. You wouldn't set boundaries. And now they're overwhelmed and confused at the fact that they're not hearing from you. They thought they would have heard from you by now. This person thought they would have had another chance with you, Collective. And now they're finding out that they're not going to have another chance. Twin Flame. So this is somebody here who feels like they are your twin, whether you feel like they are or not. So some of y'all could be dealing with a twin. You don't have to be, okay? But definitely this person feels like there's a strong, solid, like, um, you know, spiritual connection or like they were meant to meet you or they feel like there is some form of strong soul tie here. So yeah, this person could have doubted that you were their twin. They could have treated you like, you know, I definitely feel like this person treated you like, this was just a, like any other connection that they've ever had with anybody else. And now this person is finding out that since you cut ties and you set boundaries with this person, now they're like, oh my goodness, you know, they're stressed out about it now. Okay. So maybe somebody here is going through some form of awakening. They've done the work and want to take a leap of faith for love in a few months. So I feel like after waiting for a long period of time, somebody here has been quiet. You, you, this person did, has not expressed how they felt about you or they haven't told you that they missed you. They haven't like attempted to reach out yet. And they're like, and the reason why I feel like this person has not re attempted to reach out to you collective is because they thought they would have heard from you by now. Oh, I'll give collective some more time. I'll give them a little bit more time. They'll come back to me. I don't know if I like this energy because this is coming across as somebody who's in their ego and their shadow side and a little bit of narcissist like very selfish energy here choice made on the top of the deck after much thought they've decided to be with you instead of their other option you see what i'm saying what happened to that other option why all of a sudden do they want you you know th this energy has been coming out in collective readings a lot lately it's been like okay what's the deal with people it's almost like you don't learn these these karmics and I said karmics, you know what I'm saying? Because some of y'all, these people are karmics, to be honest, because they're in a karmic cycle and they're refusing to learn. And they're only running back to divine feminine and divine masculine until after the choice that they chose, they thought the grass is greener somewhere else because of their lack of healing, because of their lack of, they, they refuse to grow and heal and see themselves and, and just listen to their spirit guides or just listen to their intuition. <laughs> Like, I, I don't, and so now they want to run back to you in shambles because they need your energy and they need your, your love. They need your light. They need your help or they need your guidance. Or maybe these people are, are not fucking around with them anymore, you know, or the, the karmic or the person that they chose honestly may not be, they may have done them the same way that they did you. Somebody here is digging up dirt on you pop-up spontaneous unexpected surprise visit i hope they don't try to pop up on you this person wants to try to pop up on you or try to see you out in public or somewhere where they know you might like you might go on a regular basis or somewhere you frequent like you hang out to try to run into you like it was an accident because they're lonely, they're craving your attention, you're not giving them any attention right now. I just hope this person isn't, it feels like this person is coming towards you because out of convenience, because of their own selfish needs, fantasizing about you. Yeah, definitely can't stop thinking about you. What else? Okay, 
I told you ego. I told you guys this was definitely giving me narcissist or like just in their ego, her ego, ego getting in the way of a relationship. This person's ego got in the way of the, your connection being successful. You know, it's like you knew what the connection was, but this person wasn't ready and they have blockages in their own life. And I feel like part of the blockage is their own ego. Show me more here. Yeah, this is somebody here who felt like this is someone here who was like a know-it-all. But now they're finding out that they don't know everything. Show me more here. Holy Spirit. Secret love. I kept my love for you a secret. It's too complicated to explain. I told you this person was not expressing. They tr expressing how they felt about you. And they're definitely not expressing that currently in the moment. But I do feel like whoever this is. They chose to be somewhere else to do something else or like, you know, just be in their ego. The choice that they made was not a good choice at all. Hmm. Show me more. Trash. Ooh, throwing out, getting rid of and tossing out. They, they may have made you feel some kind of way. This person could have like ghosted you. They could have like stopped talking to you unexpectedly, left with no explanation, or you may have felt like this person. I feel like, but they feel like, here's the thing. This is what I'm getting. I feel like I'm talking to somebody here who, whoever this person is that you were dealing with, right? At the time, I feel like this person was big in their ego. They didn't see or realize what the connection was. They didn't see how divine you were, right? They didn't see your true worth, your true value. And that's on them. That has, there's no representation of who you are and what you had to give, right? But they treated you like you were not important to them, right? And now they're finding out they were wrong. That it, their ego, ego death, is gotten in the way. And so now this person is playing victim, feeling sorry for themselves and fantasizing about you. And now they're realizing they're in this awakened energy, like, oh my goodness, like, what did I do? And, and but, but I feel like at some point, like this person was feeling like they were the victim, you know? <laughs> no, they were not the victim, okay? Thief, rob, lost, theft, physical or emotional. Someone could have stolen something from this person, okay? I don't know what that's about, but we'll see. Mm, 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 mm. You could be dealing with somebody who here was like done some time, who's done something illegal. They've been to jail a time or two. That could be, look, incomparable. No one has ever made me feel the way that you do. You are irreplaceable. Show me more here. Holy Spirit, for this person. What's this thief energy? Clarify thief. Drug addiction. Oh my goodness. You guys, somebody has a drug habit. Mm, 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 mm. So this person may have stolen from you. Used you at one point. Um, or if this person never had a drug addiction or they used you, then they're dealing, whoever they were dealing with has a drug addiction or your person has a drug addiction. They may have been used. Confusion, there goes more confusion and illusions here. So this person like, hmm, you may not have seen that this person had a drug addiction at first. You may not have noticed it. This person was not doing that stuff around you. For those of you who resonate with like finding out at some point this person had a drug addiction or some form of codependency, right? That codependency doesn't necessarily have to be drugs. It could be anything. But I feel like at some point the rose colored glasses came off and this person, you, you saw this person for who they really truly were. Show me more here. Now, if this person's dealing with somebody else, the rose colored glasses are coming out and they're no longer confused about the karmic that they are dealing with. Maybe this karmic has a drug addiction, okay? We have summer and growth came out in reverse. So somebody here is definitely a karmic. They could be a Cancer, a Gemini, or Leo, okay? Uh, there's no growth in this situation, okay? There's no growth. Some of you all may hear from this person today or the day that you see this reading. 
What's this? We have competition in reverse. Remember, we just saw this incomparable energy. There is no competition. Whoever this person is that was dealing with someone else or chose someone else here, they're finding out very quickly that they're this person, other person is not like you. Okay. Yeah. Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah. I don't feel like you love this person anymore. There's no passion or whoever this person is dealing with. There's no more passion. There's no growth. Ooh. Show me more here, Holy Spirit. Move. Yeah, you've moved on. You've moved on. I'm letting you go now so we can both move on. Yeah, you've definitely moved on. But you know what? I feel like this person tried to move on from you and they thought you would come running back and their ego is can't, would not for a very long time allow them to think, you know, like the collective will come back. It's no it's not going to be a problem. But guess what? They're realizing you're not coming back. Nightlife gamble. Take a risk in Vegas. Um, let's see here. So this person wants to take a risk and come towards you since they haven't heard from you. This person could be someone who also suffers from a, an addiction and gambling. That could be the case here too. Somebody could have an, an alcohol an addiction to drinking alcohol. They could make decisions that are reckless. Okay. Ooh, grudge holder. Who's holding grudges? This is this person. The person who is living in their ego is the grudge holder. Look at this. And they're holding, the grudge holder is holding alcohol. So they're holding like a glass. I told you grass is greener. It says, I need to see if there are better romantic options. So this person went to go see, like I said, thank you, Holy Spirit, if the grass was greener on the other side of the fence and it was not. And they are upset with you or somebody here is upset and holding grudges. I don't feel like you're holding a grudge. I feel like you've just moved on. So this person's most likely upset with you. Divine timing. What else do we have here? Yeah, divine feminine. Okay, divine feminine energy came out. And be careful. They look they look like salt or sugar, but looks can be deceiving. I feel like this came out in reverse. I'm going to put it back because I think I picked it up the opposite way. Clarify this divine feminine energy here, please. Holy Spirit, clarify divine feminine. They definitely see you as being a divine being. They know you're not a karmic, by the way. Okay, healing. Yeah, I told you you're not... You are not holding a grudge on anybody. We, we just clarify divine feminine. You're healing. You're doing your inner work. You're minding your own business. You're taking the time to heal because you know that what you, the love that you deserve is, is like, you're not going to take any less than what you deserve. All right. This person has something they want to express to you, but I feel like they were wearing a mask. Like we talked about, right? They were wearing a mask. Oh boy, let's hop into tarot real quick. You guys hit the like button. I am open for personal reading. Share the video with anybody and subscribe to the channel if anything resonates for you, okay? Show me more here about this masculine who's holding grudges. Yeah, look at this. They're having a hurtful, painful ending. They are holding a grudge because they're mad at you. They're hurt. They may have had a, a painful ending with a karmic. This karmic could have stole money from them or they are drug addict or, or maybe they did this to you. Show me more about this person that's holding grudges. They could be an air sign. They're heartbroken over you. They, have, they are holding a grudge over you. Divine feminine is already out here. They're holding a grudge over you because you're healing. You're in this healing energy and they are not healing, but that's, the, that's on them. That's not on you. You're in this divine feminine energy. They're heartbroken over you. They're heartbroken over this ending. They feel like you betray them. They're playing the victim. Like I was saying earlier, playing the victim for sure. Three of swords. Somebody here could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, an Aquarius, or you could be a Taurus. You don't have to be. You're healing. Look at that. They're mad at you because you're healing. Cannot make it up. Four of swords. Oh. Show me more here for this person. 
this king of swords that some of y'all are definitely dealing with a gemini libra or an aquarius if you're not dealing with an air sign and this person wants to communicate with you we're going to find out here what this person wants to say but they're focused on you they're thinking about you if they're not an air sign this is just somebody who's been deep in their thought they're overthinking everything you know they you know they've been doing a lot of thinking about um how they may have betrayed you and broke your heart because they chose another option they're definitely obsessively thinking about you and they do have a truth that they want to express to you they want to take this mask off i just don't think you're going to be open to listening or you know uh, what's this page of wands clarify this king of swords and page of wands please king of swords page of wands that they want to reconcile ace of cups six of cups I, I mean, <sighs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right. So expect to hear from this person, you guys. Expect to hear, for those of you who want this person back, okay? It's your, your choice. You have free will. When this person comes back, this king of swords, when they come back, are, can they be trusted? Can divine feminine trust them? The Knight of Wands just went in reverse. My goodness. <sighs> oh my gosh. This person has not learned a thing, collective. What is this? Spirit, can you clarify, please? Oh my gosh. For some of y'all, somebody might need somewhere to stay. Be careful, okay? Make sure you ask questions if you do communicate with this person because it might be because they need somewhere to stay. Can this person be trusted? Can you clarify this? This king of swords, can this masculine be trusted? Now we have a king of cups and a page of pentacles. So this person is going to come towards you with some form of emotion, right? And they are going to make an offer. Some, maybe they come with a gift some flowers or whatever this gift is uh for some of you you can trust this person okay now i'm gonna say for others of you so just make sure you you use your discernment they could be a cancer they could be a pisces they could be a scorpio for some of y'all you may have a new masculine coming in this king of cups and this page of pentacles is definitely something new right but it also could be the same masculine coming back so you may just just stay with me here this divine feminine may have two choices i'm gonna see but you may have two choices in between someone here from the past that broke your heart you know blah 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 they're still in this knight of wands energy right now for some of y'all this 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 masculine is that's obsessing over you from the past that wants to reconcile with this ace of cups and six of cups they are going to come in with being emotional expressing how they feel about you and but and they might think that they are truly ready for something right but they're still in this knight of wands energy i'm gonna uh in reverse that's that's like be careful with that because this person sleeps around a lot. They're still immature. They're not ready for commitment. Clarify the Knight of Wands in reverse. Oof. The Sun card. Definitely could be a Leo. Clarify this Knight of Wands in reverse. The Four of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles. Clarify this Nine of Wands with the Sun card and the Four of Wands. Yeah, the Devil. Capricorn energy. <sighs> Be careful. Be careful with this person. You're going to know, all right? Some of y'all, you do have a new person coming in. This could be a totally different person. Who's this King of Cups? Clarify the King of Cups with the Page of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands. I feel like this is a new person. Y'all going to have two people coming in here. Is Divine Feminine going to have more than one option here to choose in love? Oh, Seven of Wands. I feel like that's a yes. That's the first thing I heard. But is Divine Feminine going to have two options? At least more than one. Uh-oh. More than one option when it comes to love. I don't I don't want two cards, Holy Spirit. Will Divine Feminine have more than one option when it comes to love? 
Hmm. Nine of Wands in reverse is like not being stressed. King of Wands in reverse. What, there's somebody here I would not trust. King of Wands in reverse with the Nine of Wands in reverse, you guys. They totally could be a Leo. Be careful with this person. They're still in devil energy. I feel like this is you, Spirit, saying say no when this person comes in. Okay? I feel like this is something new here. Or this person may come in sharing all these emotions with a gift and all they want to do is have sex. There's something still toxic about them. So keep that in mind, all right? Because I feel like you're going to be disappointed if you do. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. What does this person want to say to the collective from the past? The person from the past, what do they want to say? I told you, I'm sleeping with multiple people. O-M-G. I'm unhappy in my current relationship. You see what I'm saying, you guys? It's convenience. It's like, because you're unhappy in your current situation, which you chose, by the way. <laughs> make it make sense, y'all. I just make it make sense. What does this person want to say? They need to go. They just, they just need to keep it moving. What does this person want to say? to the collective because they are they are will you marry me wants to fall out so bad will you that's what i'm saying i feel like this person's getting ready to come in show all these emotions with this page of pentacles and oh will you marry me or a promise ring or something to try to convince you that they have changed and that they're not going to do you the same way again that is a effing lie. You're everything that I prayed for. And I believe you are in this divine feminine energy and you are everything that they prayed for. But they fumbled it when they received it. So now they are receiving their karma and they're unhappy with the karmic that they chose. They got me mad over here, y'all. I'm sorry. This person got me mad. This person got me mad. I feel like... Um, I miss the sound of your voice. I miss our family. So some of you have a family with this person. Not everybody has a family with this person. I imagine growing old with you. I didn't know how much I loved you until I lost you. I told you, but that's on them. So let them be happy where they are. Better off alone. This is you. I feel like you're um, in this healing energy, four swords, nine of pentacles energy. Like you, I'm better off alone. I don't need you. I'm, I'm healing. I'm going to protect my energy, protect my space. You may even have set boundaries with this person. Like I said, you're not talking. You're not speaking. You may even have this person on, on block on your phone or something. So anyway, that's your reading. Be, be wise, you guys. I mean, I'm sure you've already been wise, so I don't feel like I even really need to tell y'all that, but I love you guys. Have a good day.